we are in discussions with the school feeding program to ensure that, again, a lot of what goes on the school plates, and in fact, uh, the school feeding program produces 150,000 meals per day. 150,000 meals per day. And we want to ensure that a greater part of that comes from locally grown and developed food um, products so that more of what we grow in Trinidad will find its way on the plates of, of uh, young children in our schools because we can control, therefore, the nutritional balance of those meals through producing um, local foods. Very soon, the ministry is going to be launching a, uh, a program uh, to produce more food in Trinidad and Tobago. And uh, that will happen within the next two weeks, to produce more food, locally grown, more nutritious, healthy foods. And part of that will be, a little segment of that will be um, grow more food at home. So we're going to urge all of the people who are at home, all of the housewives and the house husbands and the uh, young children uh, to grow some more food at home. But I want, to, I want to challenge all of the school children in particular who will be home over the next eight weeks to go home and plant something. Um, if it is that uh, you need to get um, information, we have, we've, um, we have uh, videos, we have booklets of how to grow any, almost everything. Um, you could grow something in, in a little pot, in a little pan, in a little bucket, in our old shoes. You could grow something in anything, uh, whether it's a tomato, whether it's lettuce. Um, you know, don't take a, one of these new shoes, though. Uh, but any old shoes, anything you, you could find, you could plant, you can plant something uh, in it. And, over, and over, the, over the eight weeks, you'll almost be in a position to get two sets of crops, two sets of lettuces or tomatoes or anything, and you will actually see and uh, feel uh, the pleasure of growing something for yourself and something that, uh, something that you can eat. So it's our hope that through this uh, competition that you would all have developed a good appreciation for agriculture uh, in all facets um, of what it means, but primarily um, to ensure that you understand where it fits in and how you fit in um, with regard to providing food security for Trinidad and Tobago. I want all of you to understand that agriculture is no longer um, a sector that is relegated right down to the bottom of the ladder. Um, over the last 12 months, you all would have seen a lot happening in the agricultural sector, a tremendous amount, so much so that agriculture has now been catapulted right to the top of the agenda of this government to ensure that we can provide food security for our people, to ensure that we could um, put our people back to productive employment, to ensure that we can bring the rate of inflation down. Now, I know the kids wouldn't understand inflation, but I know the adults will. Uh, when this government came into office in May 2010, the inflation rate in Trinidad and Tobago was 17%. Um, as of last week, the government of the central bank uh, announced that inflation is now down to 3.9%. And that is primarily and essentially driven by the price of food. So essentially what, what has happened and what the, what the government of the central bank is saying is that food, prices has food has become more plentiful and food prices have gone down. Whereas in the rest of the world, food prices are going up. In Trinidad and Tobago, we are seeing a decline in the price of food. And that, has only because, that is only because we have more people now enthusiastically joining the agricultural sector. We have more people uh, growing more food. And we have more people who are concerned about food security for people.